my baby died and that's why I make the art that I make. These are rainbows from hell. If you're going through hell, keep going. I, I don't know why painting rainbows seem to be the best choice in the darkest period of my life, but that's what happened. A few years ago, I had had a lovely little sweet baby named Gigi, and then we decided to try for another one. And then I don't mind telling you, I kinda went through the weed whipper for the next couple years. We had a full term stillbirth, our little baby Esther. And then I did the scariest possible thing and tried again and had four miscarriages. So there was like two, three years where I was either pregnant and felt horrible or recovering from a pregnancy and felt horrible. Oh my gosh, the hormones. It was ridiculous, my friends. It was horrible. And the thing that kept me tethered was painting watercolor hexagons. It was like I needed this repetitive, brightly colored, almost obsessive compulsive work because it would drop me into a creative flow state that would give me a little bit of break. And watercolor just what represented the easiest entry. It required the smallest amount of setup, the smallest amount of cleanup, so I could just start painting my watercolors and just be okay for it like a second. <laughs> Which is why I get such a kick out of the haters. They think I use too much paint, they think my work is repetitive, they think it doesn't have a deeper meaning, they think I just do the same thing over and over. Guilty, guilty as charged. And um, I just think, you don't know nothing about nothing. Like, at all. As they say in the South, bless your little heart. <laughs> the thing is, these rainbows, these paintings, I went to hell for these. These are rainbows from hell. And as my friend says, if you're going through hell, keep going. I, I don't know why painting rainbows seem to be the best choice in the darkest period of my life, but that's what happened. And I don't, you know, now I don't really even care about the paintings. They're not really that important, except as a reference for process, because I truly believe that process and beauty triumphs over death and grief. And it's an ongoing relationship that I think everybody can find their own way through if you're dealing with something. If you have questions or your own experiences about this, I'd love to hear. Also, if you are interested in getting more from me, you can sign up for my mailing list there's a link in the bio or you can just go to josielewis.com. There's a little spot where you can put your email in and then you'll be a part of the insiders group, which means you'll get like screensavers and templates and special tips and how to's and behind the scenes. And I am currently in development of my new blog, which you will have access to if you're part of the insiders group. So please sign up. I'd love to.